Hi, I am Clary, an award-winning Italian designer based in Manchester, UK, where I run my design practice studio per my soul. In this video, you will learn how to design engaging social media templates and produce content that resonates with your audience. I have recently worked alongside the scientists of the Joint Research Center of the European Commission to bridge the gap between science and public perception. My solution was to create bold, fun and entertaining Instagram posts and stories. Follow this video to discover how to create a collection of curated assets within your company standards. Learn how to reuse the templates over and over again. To create your bespoke Instagram assets, click on Create New. We're going to start by setting the resolution of an Instagram post, which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. I'm going to name the file Instagram template and click on create. I have provided some images for this practice, but feel free to use your brand assets or your images to achieve a result that reflects your business visual identity. Let's introduce the asset on the file. Click on shift command P, that's shift control P on Windows to place image number one. Click once in the middle of the artboard, let's select the rectangle tool and click and drag to create a shape over the artboard and bring it to the back using the shortcut command shift curly bracket. That's control shift curly bracket on Windows. Press the letter I on your keyboard to select the eyedropper tool and pick a color from your image to make a background with the same color palette. Click and hold on the rectangle tool until the hidden tools appear and select the ellipse tool. Click and drag in the center of the artboard while holding shift to create a perfect circle. Then. Press V on your keyboard to go back to the selection tool and hold shift and click on the image to have both the shape and the photo in the same selection. Go to the properties panel and align to the artboard vertically and horizontally. When done, press on command seven, that's control seven on windows to create a clipping mask. Let's create another circle by clicking on the ellipse tool and holding shift. I'm going to press on I and use the eyedropper tool to pick the photo's background color. Then. With the new circle selected, hold Option on Mac, that's Alt on Windows, and drag along to create a copy. Hold Shift to select both circles, press Command G, that's Control G on Windows, to group the two items, and then align them vertically and horizontally using the icons under the Properties panel. When done, click on the Arbor tool, select the Arbor, and click and drag while holding Option on Mac and Alt on Windows to create an identical copy. Click on Return or Enter on Windows to bring up the artboard options. We are going to change the height to 1920 pixels, which is the size of the Instagram story. Click on OK. Use the bounding box to resize the rectangle in the background according to the size of a new artboard. Move the content of the post below towards the bottom of the artboard. Select the pen tool to create more shapes that will overlap the photo. Click to create anchor points and make sure to close the shape by finishing on the same point you started with. Those shapes will partially hide the post, generating interest and triggering your followers' curiosity to see more. Fill the shapes with white on any color that works well with your palette. Press T to select the type tool. Click and drag to create a text area. I'm going to use a geometric font because it works well with my branding. You can pick any font you like and that works best with your brand. I will set the size to 200 points from the properties panel and align the paragraph to the center. I usually write a message that points out to my new post, like check out my new post. To outline the type, press Shift Command O, that's Shift Control O on Windows, then press I to give it the same color of our image background. When done, head to the Properties panel to align the text horizontally. You are now ready to export your first curated social media assets and save the template. Use the shortcut option Command E, that's Alt Control E on Windows to export the artboards. I will give it a prefix like Insta1 and click on export. Click on Shift Command S, that's Shift Control S on Windows to save the template. Name it Instagram template, select the Illustrator template format from the drop down menu and click on save. Now close the file with the shortcut Command W, that's Control W on Windows. When you will head back to your destination folder, double click on the template. It will open a new untitled document in Illustrator. You'll be able to use this file again and again to create infinite assets based on the same template. I find them so useful and they are great time savers. To swap images, go to the window menu, links, then select both photos by holding shift and click on the relink icon at the bottom of the panel and choose the new image. Click on place. I'm going to select the magic one from the toolbar 
to select items based on their appearance. I will start by clicking on a blue item, press I to select the eyedropper tool and pick the new image background color. I'm going to do the same for the rest of the graphic elements. To have your asset ready to be posted on Instagram, export them as you did with the previous asset with the shortcut Option Command E on Mac, that's Alt Control E on Windows. You have now created your fantastic Instagram assets ready to be published on your account and your very own template for you to use as many times as you want. I will see you on Instagram. Now it's time for you to try out these techniques with your Instagram assets. Again, I'm Claudia from Print My Soul and I look forward to working with you in the next project to elevate your business communication strategy.